Um, there's a guy shooting. Around 11.30 p.m. on January 15th, Austin police received several 911 calls about gunshots coming from the West 6th Street area downtown. Sir, we have a lot of help headed out there. I need to know where you are. Where, where do we need to get the help? At 11.34 p.m., a caller tells dispatchers a man has been shot near La Vodka and 5th Street. He survived his injuries. Five minutes after the first call was made, officers quickly arrived on scene, which they described as chaotic, with people running to seek safety. Officers began their search for the shooter, who is now identified as Anthony Marquez Franklin. When officers caught up to Franklin, they quickly noticed his gun. Gun, 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 gun. The officers ordered him to drop his gun several times. Instead, Franklin ran from the cops. Officers chased him to Colorado Street near 6, where Franklin ran onto a porch building. Here you see another person put their hands up when they saw police. Officers then ask Franklin again to show his hands. He then jumps from the porch with a gun in his hand and rolls on the ground. That's when officers Kelby Radford, Ryan Rollins, and Jacob Bauman again ordered him to drop his gun. Then they shot him. <laughs> On Friday afternoon, after APD released body cam video of the night Franklin was shot to death, attorneys representing his family released a statement saying in part, the video makes it absolutely clear Anthony Franklin was on the ground, crouched in the fetal position when these officers opened fire, shooting him in the back and killing him. While many were celebrating Dr. Martha Luther King's birthday, Anthony Franklin was taking his last breaths. The officers involved are on administrative administrative leave, which is standard procedure. APD will be conducting two investigations. Anyone with information about this shooting is asked to call Crime Stoppers. In downtown Austin, Jessica Rivera, Fox 7 Austin News.